welcome 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 <laughs> thank you so much thank you so 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 much for joining me here live okay obviously not live on this podcast but <laughs> i'm so grateful that you decided to click and you know listen with all the hype i've been giving my podcast uh, let me just let you in on a little secret so with all my hype since last year I have only recorded one episode. Okay, maybe one to three, but I was never planning to post them. <laughs> I've been chasing perfection with this podcast, which most content creators would say is not advisable. They would always say, oh, just start. Oh, just, you know, just do it. Just whatever. But it's really hard, especially if you're a perfectionist or, you know, you just like to get things right at the first try. But they say perfection doesn't exist. But I always believe that, you know, in chasing perfection, I can catch excellence. And I hope to do that with this podcast. <laughs> but I'm trying not to also take it as a project. I mean, I want it to have all the good vibes, all the fun, all the happiness, all the joy that I could possibly bring, you know, to a lonely student studying abroad. Or even if you're not lonely, I, w- I never admit that I'm lonely, even though I stay alone. Because, I mean, it's, it's all in the mind. <laughs> and that's what I tell myself. But, you know... I'm happy. I'm just, I'm so happy if you're actually here. I just want to say thank you again for choosing to listen to me. Some of you might be here because you're my friends. And I really appreciate that. <laughs> but just in case you find out that, oh, no, no, no. Um, I'm not the audience she's looking for. Please just introduce me to your other friends who you know are planning to study abroad or studying abroad. Not because I really don't know what I'm going to get out of this exactly, but... I'm just doing it. And I'll get to it in a second why I started this podcast. So as the title implies, today you're going to meet your host, of course. And I'm going to also talk about why I started this podcast. I'm really making a lot of hand movements because I think I'm making a speech. But, well, you guys deserve it, even though you're not here, you know, to see me at my best. Oh, well, whatever. So the whole point is I want you to be, br- I want you to be proud to be associated with me or this brand or whatever it may become, you know. So that's why, that's why I'm really trying to go all out. So the little secret I was going to let you in on is I have, I have been postponing this thing for the longest time because of um, paralysis analysis or what's it called? I think it's analysis paralysis, you know, and just a bunch of other things, just fear. I've had so much fear starting and I'm sure for a lot of you, if you're a millennial like me, I was born in 1996, you know. Even if you're not a millionaire, you probably will be Gen Z or older, whatever. You know, there are a lot of things in your life you you know have you have set out to start and you feel this fear and this pushback. And I've felt that for the past six months. And even up until today, I had to, that's why I had to put a date to it. I was like, okay, I'm going to start on this particular day because that was when so 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 happened to me, which I would also get into. <laughs> so because I felt like I had to do that. If not, I would never start. And I kept dropping all this, you know, little um hype on Instagram <laughs> for nothing that was really going underneath. Uh, just to, so I, it was just for myself, you know. So like, totally, you've told the whole world, so you have no choice than to start this podcast. So that's why I'm here today to also introduce myself, and probably you also get to learn more about me from my gesticulations and from the way I talk. You probably be able to pick that. Oh. Maybe this how this girl is or not. But yeah, let's jump right into it. Now that sounds like what a YouTuber would say, but you can't blame me. Yeah, so I'm just going to assume that um, people listening to me today, wherever you are, uh, studying abroad or your or you plan to study abroad mostly nigerians because i've been talking to mostly nigerians about my podcast i haven't really told people here but the plan is uh, okay it's not the plan it's not my plan i just hope that someday it would help more than it will help people not just on the african continent but you know in the global continent you know to help people globally oh my god that's what i was trying to say <laughs> it would help people globally so yeah, so to meet me, my name is Tolu Lope Esther Olukomi. I was born in Potakot River State, Nigeria, in West Africa. And I moved to Lagos, Nigeria when I was 17. So my parents moved jobs. I'm the first child of five girls. Um, what else? 
<laughs> I studied chemical engineering in Kamenei University. I was there for five years, and which was one of the best five years of my life. I also attended Graceland International School in Potako River State, Nigeria as well for secondary school, what um, Americans would rather call high school, uh, middle school and high school. And then for my primary school, I went to Burton Nursery and primary school. Burton Nursery, Burton Montessori Nursery and primary school. Yes. <laughs> yes, that was it. I'm turning 25 this year and I'm so excited to be doing this. This feels like this feels like me walking in purpose. I can't explain it, but yeah. <laughs> so I'm I'm really happy that I finally took the bull by the horn and recorded this episode, you know, starting this podcast and all of that. So for for me, I would say I am of course for me, I would defend myself here in the public that I am a very nice person. I am quite kind hearted, which has happened <laughs> by the grace of God. And oh yes, I am a Christian. I walk by faith and not by sight. I believe I'm a child of God. I believe that Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, you know, to give me salvation, give me hope, to give me life, to free me from all my sins, you know. And you know, all of that. I am not the best preacher or the best evangelist, but I hope that, you know, and also hearing my stories, you would come to know Jesus and power his resurrection. But yeah, of course, I'm a Christian. So, and, and, you know, anything you just love or you you love to be affiliated with or you love to be, you know, known for, you would always want to tell people about it. I'm also a very proud Nigerian. I'm proud to be Nigerian. I'm not exactly proud of my country right now at the state it's in. But I can tell you for a fact any day, like everywhere I go, especially here in the US, I always introduce myself as a Nigerian. I'm always saying, oh, I'm from Nigeria. Yes, I'm from Nigeria. <laughs> I feel like it's such a privilege to be black. And I hope I can also rub it, rub it, you know, I, I also ho hope it rubs off on you, you know, as well. So I have in secondary school, most of my friends would tell you that, you know, on our slum books, when they asked, what did you want to be? Of course, yes, officially, I wanted to be a chemical engineer. I studied chemical engineering for five years, as I mentioned previously. I also even interned in, like, big, big four oil and gas companies. I worked for Total as an intern. I also moved to Oriental Energy, where I worked as an impressions engineering intern, where I even visited offshore, you know. So I had, I really thought I was going to go into oil and gas money, you know, <laughs> in the long run. My parents, too, were oil and gas, you know, workers and all of that. So I really thought, and they had handed baton off to me that, oh, you would also work in oil and gas engineering. But yeah, here, here I am. So I'm currently studying um, my master's, trying to get a master's degree in engineering management at Cornell University in Ithaca, New York. Hence the name of this podcast, the Non-Immigrant Students. <laughs> and I decided to start this podcast for a couple of reasons a couple of reasons um when i so i have this article published on medium on medium called um uh, what's the name of the article right now <laughs> how i saved my first million and of course i put it on twitter i put it out there I told all my friends oh look how i saved my first million naira you know and all of that so and the gist was so long i'm also a writer i'm i'm also an event planner see there's so many things for you to know about me but i believe that if you visit the instagram page uh, my my personal Instagram page is private, but if you visit the non-immigrant students Instagram page, you probably get to know me more in the captions and the way you see me lead my life, you know. But yeah, so I put it out there that, and I found out that in writing it, the story was so long. I won't have a line there that says maybe if I open a podcast someday, I'll give you the full gist of how I was able to say. It. But you should actually check out the post. I think it was. It was funny too. I mean, people gave me good feedback. That I'm a good writer. Although I've always known, kind of, you know. It's just a talent that I never really pursued. <laughs> but yeah, my English teacher believed in me. Mr. Baba Wale, I'll never forget him. He, for those of you who went to Graceland, shout out to all of you. Mr. Baba would tell me, to I need you to be the next Grace Ayuka. You know, I want you to write a poem book, you know, and all of that. But I never followed through with it because I just felt I wasn't that original. But, you know, back to it. And then in SS2, I found this um, Vanguard, or see this day, magazine that had tools, Oniru Demoren on it. So you have, to, I'm so sorry if you're listening to this and you're not in Nigeria, you probably won't get the context of all of this, but I'll do my best to explain. So Tools is an OAP, an air personality who has 
who has a child and who's married now but back then she wasn't and we had we also looked alike we also looked alike physically so i was like who is this really pretty woman oh my god and her name is tolu oniru she's like tolu her son name is starts with o as well i want to be like her you know oh what does she do and all this while i was, I was already like headed to to the um to study engineering university but for some reason i just like her and then you also have the Moabudus who I knew back then as a talk show host. You know, she's two moments with more. And these were women that I just admired, you know. And I've always been someone too who um, admires Hollywood life, entertainment. You know, each channel used to be my best channel growing up, you know. I just always liked Angelina Rancic, you know. This, these were people that, of course, Oprah Winfrey too. These were people that I just watched a lot growing up. Like now my favorite kind of TV to watch, apart from movies, is like talk shows interviews and all of that but i'm not saying this is what led to this i mean i don't know yet you know i'm also finding out that is this really why i started this podcast <laughs> but i'm also going to find out on this journey with you so that was how so i announced to the whole class that oh from now on i want everyone to call me tools so that is why i have a nickname called tools although i've tried to change all my names from tools where because now most people think most people will tell me oh i followed you because i thought you were the tools oniru like the popular one like no 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 i've just always taken her name you know i've just always thought i wanted to be like her you know so but eventually, so some my some of my friends call call me tools, and yes, my son name also starts with and um, the letter O, and I look like half his card, but that doesn't mean anything. And when I was much younger, I used to say that in secondary school at sixteen, seventeen, that I would have a talk show called Proudly Tools, Proudly Tools Show. And now when I look back, I'm like, wow, what what did I think I knew back then? You know, like what what would have made me say things like that you know i wasn't really aspiring to be like a barbara walters or an opera i wasn't really aspiring to be that i mean i needed to be an engineer i needed to be this hard-working woman who followed her career you know that that's how it is back in nigeria and i think indians would understand this where we are we are groomed you know we are we are brought up to want to be you know i i shouldn't say successful no 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 because every child is brought up to be successful <laughs> But then you're just pushed so hard to follow a career, not to like, there's just this, there's just this plan, you know, primary school, secondary school, university, master's, PhD, possibly, and all of that. So yeah, so that's just the back. So I'm just saying that to say, hmm, maybe this is why I'm doing this eventually, because some, one day when I was, when I was a teenager, I actually thought I was going to do a talk show. But the second reason I think why I'm starting this podcast is because I'm a lazy writer. So, like I said, I used to write in school. Like, people... Yeah, I had published articles in our school magazine. Even though most of the work wasn't mine. I'm not sure they were all mine. <laughs> you know? There's sometimes you read some things and you're like, Oh, let me rewrite this in another way. You know, they were in stories. They were just poems. Or they would just be lines. Like, lines, nice lines that rhyme. Nice lines that rhyme. Ooh. Okay. But... <laughs> You know, and then we we'll just put it out there. And because my English teacher believed in me, he always published my stuff. Although I also remember in SS2 and SS3, I cast the news for school. I think when I SS3 or so, yeah, there was a time I would go to the assembly podium and read the news, you know, and all of that. So I was quite active in literary and press debating society too. The club, one of those secondary school clubs we have. So yes, now that I think about it, why did I study engineering? <laughs> oh, well, we'll find out. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, so I think that's also why this podcast is here because every time I think about, oh, I should write about this, I'm like, oh, it's going to be too long. And I'm such a long writer. In short, I'm a recovering, I, I'm the one on IG who always like ran out of, like, I always overuse the limits, you know. And that's why for a long time I wasn't really tweeting. I only retweeted because I'm like, I can't even share my thoughts on this Twitter because I only have 140 characters or whatever. So, like, why is it so limited? And that's how it was on Instagram for me, too. And everyone would tell me, your captions are too long. We can't read them. So I started cutting them short, you know. So, if you should, that's why there was a long time to I stopped posting on Instagram because it's just like, I can't post and not put a caption. How? I'm, I'm such an expressive person. Oh, well. So that was another reason. So when I got my admission to Connor University, I was like, I should write about my grad school journey and every single thing. I was like, no, nobody's going to read it. It's going to definitely have part one, part two, and part three. So I have who is going to follow it, you know? So I should put it in a podcast, you know. That's what I was thinking all along. But you know, all these things are just thoughts, you know, that should have I should that should have slipped by. They weren't serious things. 
it's eventually this is where I'm going to bring the God factor. The third reason why I think I'm starting this podcast. I'm not saying like I don't want to help people, you know, like I'm not saying like I'm not here to also you know, you know how they say like when you climb up, like you know, like look back, pay it forward, bring someone along with you to the top and all of that. I'm not saying I don't want to do any of that. But I'm also such a soul believer in facing your front, which is <laughs> which is like a Nigerian colloquialism, like face your front, mind your business, stay in your lane. When you're in your lane, you don't experience traffic, you know, like I'm such a believer of that as well. Although, but that would be a lie because I mean I'm, I'm an elder sister, they Big sister and me too always wants to make sure that, oh, everyone around me is doing okay. I hope you're getting it right. You know, I'm someone who always shares tips, you know, hacks, tricks. I'm like, oh, I did it this way. You can try it this way. And I was like, oh, I should do this. I'm learning so much from this experience. I should document it because if I wrote it, it will be too long. Everyone would say it's too long to read. And I'm not trying, I'm not out here trying to sell a book, you know, about how to study abroad. I mean, those are things you can find on Google. But anyway... So that's one of the reasons I did this podcast. Um, I think I'm also starting this podcast. But I, was, I, I mentioned something about God Factor, where I said, where I was going to say that, that there's sometimes I'm also like, God, why am I doing this? God, what is really happening? Why do I feel this push? You know, I started even writing out dates. And this started as far as back, as far back as July of 2020. So when I check my notes, I find out that I had already opened this Instagram account July 8th, 2020. I had tried to open a Twitter account, but it didn't work out. I had tried. I wrote down a lot of things, you know, and that's who I am. Some people would rather just start. So, sorry, some people would rather wait than start at a time. But I'd already started, you know. I'd already started and I was just like, okay, let me just put it out there when the time comes. Although I didn't tell anybody. When the time comes... I would use it, you know. And I just kept feeling this push to do something, you know, to say something. I'm like, but God, what do you want me to see? I'm not a content creator. Every single time I think about this podcast, I can run away. And that's why it has taken me so long to start because I start feeling numb. I'm like, no, 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 this is not me. I'm not a content creator. You know, my alter ego is really, if I have one, okay, I'm back then. I used to have a thing for Beyonce. And I always fought in Beyonce versus Rihanna fight because I believe Beyonce was queen you know she's always queen beat to me but the whole my point is like i always like thought that no this is not wait why did i talk about beyonce right now ariana queen b okay my point is oh yes i was trying to say (laughs) alter ego sasha fierce yes so i believe i also have an alter ego that is really talkative you know really vibey although most people would argue that that's who i am actually but when you think about it it's like no not really well i don't know (laughs) i'm just like no please that's not for me like every time i watch youtube videos sometimes i cringe on their behalf i'm like why are you showing me this this is too much and now i get to be one of them it it really irks me out it scares me i'm like oh my god everybody's going to be judging my own movie you know i watch so many i've watched so many talk shows and interviews and speeches in life that I, i i read meaning into every single thing if you move your hand or your eye at a particular place, I always believe it was for a reason, you know. And now that I'm doing all these things, so I'm like, oh my god, people are going to be judging me. Oh my god, you know. So it's really, of course, it's really scary. <laughs> it's so scary. But I hope that you know, by starting this podcast, I will be, I would also learn more of myself, and that for as many people who I want to be my audience, which is the non-immigrant student community, or people who eventually become immigrants, you know, or even people who are just here and abroad, you know, and just need, just need this vibe, this vibe I'm going to bring to you. Look at me hyping myself now. <laughs> I just want to be here for you. And that is why I am really starting this podcast. I'm here as, this is also me just documenting my journey, which is something I like to do. I just keep my memories, you know, write them down, take pictures. I also take lots of pictures for some reason, you know, but now I get to share it with the world. And because I'm thinking of this as it can go bigger than, you know, this might just be a podcast to everyone but sometimes i always look at it as something much bigger i'm like god where is this going to it's not like i'm monetizing this right now but like what is going to happen with it who is going to listen like what is really going on what even me i'm still asking why am i doing this i don't know but if you also want to stick with me on this journey and find out be my guest i'm so happy that you're here honestly even if it's just one of you i'm so happy for you i'm grateful for you thank you and also can you just you know, send kisses and love and prayers to my friend Chica who produced the music at the beginning of this episode. Sorry, which would obviously be the beginning, the intro, the what's the word? <laughs> which would also probably be like the track 
at the beginning of every episode her name is chica and we went to secondary school together and i'm so grateful chica i just have to shout you out again so i'm also a name dropper like i always shout people out because it's like why not give credit to the people who actually make things happen in my life and i'm, I'm someone who is so i have learned so much from people more than i've learned from the internet and that's something i also try to give you on this podcast like everyone tells you google it oh google it check the internet i'm like duh of course i know i should google it i'm just trying to make a conversation hello if you don't know it tell me you don't know it don't now turn it around and tell me google it please don't let us show ourselves to each other thanks <laughs> but yeah so i would also try because on the on my on the instagram page for this podcast lots of messaging me do you give scholarship do you give admission of course i don't <laughs> and it's, it gets annoying when people say like oh how do i get in i'm like do your research. Of course, that's like the answer to give. But of course, it's more than that. I remember, I still remember when I started this journey. I needed people to hold my hand. And that's why I'm also going to shout out Master's Prep community, which which was a Master's Prep founded by two eagles. That's, um, people who attended Community University, shout out to all of you. We're also called eagles, you know. And these are people who started this because they had, they had made so many mistakes in their journey and they didn't want other people applying to schools abroad to make those mistakes. And you know, just having that community, that motivation, you know, it just helped me always remember why i was applying to school in the u.s and these are things i would obviously get to along in this podcast i really don't know how long this is going to be for every single time i make a plan for this podcast something just comes up to disrupt me to remind me that it's not it's not in my place to decide the plans for the podcast so i'm like okay god i'm gonna let you i'm gonna let you do your stuff you know <laughs> it's not easy honestly it's not easy to trusting god so I, like i always tell myself tell myself like and now I'm telling you guys, if the Bible was rewritten, I would be the next Abraham, you know. But they will probably call me Abrahama. And that used to be my Instagram name. <laughs> yes, Abrahama. Because I don't think I'm going to name my daughter that. Shout out to my future husband. Please. Let's, we can agree on it now that, yeah, the girl can be Abrahama. The boy can be Daniel. That can be, those can be their Bible names because those are like two of my favorite Bible characters. But yeah, so if they wrote the Bible, I'd probably be the next Abrahama because of how much God keeps stretching me on this journey of trust and faith. You know how in your own personal Christian works or your own religious work, you know, there are things you learn on your path, you know, as you grow with your faith. And for me, it's always trust, 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 trust. Some people, they learn how to become more honest. Some people, they learn about God's love, you know. I'm even still, I want to be able to learn about God's love. But so far, I've just learned on trust. And it's such a long and hard road. But I hope that we learned. I, I, every, even my content calendar is not is not cooperating with me anymore. Because it's like every single time I want to do this. I wasn't supposed to record a trailer episode for you guys, you know, to try to help you like what are your appetite more and be like ooh Tolu is coming with the gist you know but I was like you know scratch that we're just going to do a meet your host episode which is what you're doing right now so um I hope I've been able to describe my that okay I don't think I've described myself fully but trust me <laughs> you would hear it in the other episodes so just get ready <laughs> But yeah, so I'm so happy that you guys are here. Um I have a little how I have some house rules for this housekeeping rules for this podcast of course the rules are for me probably not you i mean have fun wherever you're listening to you. but for me i have housekeeping rules that i am not going to edit any podcast because number one there's no time i attend an ivy league university a plus here in short <laughs> if i say it i can cry but a plus starts from 97 to 100 a is 93 to 96 and a minus is 90 to 93 so if I'm even dreaming that, oh, I want to have a, <laughs> that's like 99th <laughs> percentile of the, cl so my hope, and I say that to say that it's tough out here on these streets, just, you know, just to get good grades. And, but I'm still doing this because, you know, I f it just feels like something that needs to be done. I just hope I'm working in purpose. God, I hope you can hear me because <laughs> it's so hard to think that. I just, I just want to make sure that I'm not doing this alone. And I hope, and hopefully, I know I'm not doing this alone. But, you know, I'm going to keep asking God for strength, for help, you know, and wisdom and how to manage my time. But it's a lot. So I've told myself, the first take is the authentic take. I will keep it at that. And I'm not, I'm not out here trying to put out mediocre content. No, 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 I'm not like that. I just have to get it better. Um, I just have to get it at the first try. And 
hopefully that works for all of us <laughs> number two housekeeping rule for me is that um i want this to be really i want this to be something you come you come to you know you come back from your busy day if you're not a student or even if you're not if you just like to hear my voice sha or if you're just sha my friend and you miss me so much and you just want to hear me over your speakers i want you to come back here and be like oh sure i haven't even heard total talk today you know i want this to be so much fun and vibes even i can be a very moody person but at least and this is something that maybe god is even trying to teach me joy by this you know <laughs> trying to show just just in trying to show up for someone else i'm also showing up for myself so i want this to be very vibey so i'm going to bring all my energy i'm going to bring all my vibes even some of my classmates i'm going to <laughs> and i'm see, see if any of you hear me talk like i'm feeling myself too much it's because yes i'm feeling myself too much i saw one quote on twitter that said that i'm not you know anytime i go into rooms that um i you know when you meet people you're like oh my god is this really me oh my god like let's say now tomorrow i meet michelle obama barack obama and i'm sure i shouldn't be shocked of course i shouldn't be shocked that i met him eventually i am made for greatness i am made to sit in front of kings and queens hello you know like don't be shocked by your greatness that's my whole point that <laughs> so i say that i say that to say that another housekeeping room is that i as much as i want this to be fun and vibey like I used to, when I started listening to podcasts, I used to listen to, so Ijo Makola, who is another blogger I follow online, recommended some podcasts, and Jesus and Jollof was it for me. Even, I also listened to I Said What I Said by FK Abudu, Angela, yeah, yeah. These are podcasts I enjoy because of how much fun and energy and light, you know, they bring to the podcast. It's not, sometimes they're not even saying things I agree with, but just because I can hear how happy they are, it, it rubs off on me. And those, these are the kind of people I listen to during the lockdown that didn't make me go crazy. So, also, I, I want to be that for you you know i want you to be able to listen to this podcast and feel like oh you have a friend in me that's my only problem with celebrities there's so many celebrities i know i wish they knew me because i want to be their friend because if i'm their friend i would i would do so much for them they would they would forget all their other friends <laughs> okay i think i'm i think i'm dreaming but you get the point so just perhaps i see, yes i see myself as a celebrity i'm sorry i'm actually sorry but okay no i'm not sorry but you get the point like <laughs> I have I have a certain superiority complex for myself, even though it doesn't I don't it doesn't make me a proud person or anything. But you know I'm I'm always I'm very I'm very positive and optimistic about myself and about my greatness. Maybe it's also because of how much I trust God. Maybe it's also because of how much I know God has promised me a good life. But at the same time, I also want you to rub off on you. I don't want you to be where you are thinking you don't have a friend. You know I want you to be able to come here and be like oh Tolu. You know, I want to listen to some non-immigrant student podcasts because I've missed her. I got you. So that's the housekeeping room for me to always bring my joy here and energy here. And I think the third pot, um, the third housekeeping rule for me would be to keep every episode to at least, sorry, at most 30 minutes <laughs> or 35 minutes, but n never up to an hour. The only episodes are probably be up to an hour, the interview sessions I have coming up. So you guys, you better watch out for that. Um... What other housekeeping rule do I have? I'll try my best also. You know, I, I'm not afraid to be vulnerable, expressive. But that's something I'm also scared of. I'm like, God, what do I say and what do I not say? Because I don't want to say the one now. Someone will come and meet me. I don't know if my chest can take it. You know, I'm not, I don't really do well with criticisms and feedback. Although I'm very, I'm a very teachable person. I'm very open to feedback and all of that. But sometimes the feedback, the feedback makes me think I'm such a loser. I should end this right now. You know, I'm taking your instructions, your corrections, and all your criticisms. But I feel like you know what? Let me just end it so you don't have to tell me again if I didn't do well or not. So, but I'll really try my best to stay vulnerable and not exaggerate. I'm a Yoruba girl. I come from the Yoruba tribe in Nigeria, West Africa, where we are very hip. We are very Tokati, we're very. I don't mean to throw any Yoruba person under the bus. It's some. It's, these things are special characteristics. I mean, like, you know, let me just stop there, please. <laughs> let me not look for anybody's struggle on the internet. But yeah, so that's another housekeeping rule for me that I should be vulnerable and I should, of course, connect with you guys. So I guess that would be it for today. I'm so happy that you stopped by. I don't know if I've been able to introduce myself in the most, in the perfect way, but hopefully you'll get to know about, more about me. Trust me, there's no rush. There's absolutely no rush. So, thank you so much. <laughs> and yes, I'm also very dramatic. I don't think I'm melodramatic, but I can be dramatic. So. But thank you so much if you guys stopped by. And if you have any feedback, 
criticisms don't worry i'll, I'll take it i'll take it. i've kind of i'm kind of prepared this time around you know um developing some thick skin so i'll take it please shoot me an email at the non-immigrant student.com i would say send me a dm but i think i opened a professional account instead of a personal account so you can also see i'm also trying to learn a lot of these content creation tools i've done so much research that i'm like am i even starting a business you know just to start a podcast but it's not just i'm on assignment so i have to do it the right way so yeah <laughs> just shoot me an email and then um, you know checking my emails is something i love to do in my pastime so i'll definitely get back to them i don't know um how long it will take but i'm sure that emails will definitely be faster than dm so please shoot me an email at the non-immigrant student at gmail.com you can also follow me on twitter at tolu olu komi and yeah that is it thank you so much guys please don't forget to share and subscribe you can also download you know send to your friends who you know are planning to study abroad um i would build you know they would they would I, I i believe they would find this fun and interesting i believe so so thank you so much guys thank you thank you thank you see you in the next episode bye guys